Hey, welcome to a new episode. Today I am in NSX Paradise. I am over at uh, T3 Tech, uh, which is probably the most well-known NSX shop uh, just outside of Tokyo. I'm here with a friend of mine and his NSX and the NSXR. And if we take a little walk inside here, you'll notice that this is pretty much NSX Paradise. So uh, basically a quick rundown about the shop. This was set up about eight years ago. So the owner uh, who we'll be talking to later uh, used to work for another we very well-known uh, NSX specialist and decided to set up his own business uh, here outside of Tokyo. And uh, he's allowing us to kind of roam free and have a bit of a look at what customer cars are in. And um, I'm just overwhelmed at the amount of cars that they have here on you know any day kind of basis. I think there's like easily 10 cars in here of every assortment of colors and types and modifications too. It's pretty interesting to see how a lot of people do really interesting different things with their cars. Like for example, this orange one has had a custom headlight conversion done. So they've even gone so far as to actually reshape the bonnet to fit the projectors. And um, here's another super clean Type S on BBS RS's manual car. What makes T3 quite special is that with the whole issue with getting parts from Honda, with customers requesting more and more kind of restoration type work, they've had to actually work at developing their own versions of parts that are longer available uh, or actually discontinued. So. Uh, stuff like window rails, window motors, uh, pedal brackets, stuff that you know is really hard to find um, from from Honda because it's discontinued. They've actually started recreating, and thus have uh, a lot of requests for uh, work and parts. People want to get an NSX, but they don't want to spend uh, the premium that a manual transmission car would have. So they've uh, you know kind of developed their own kit here to convert uh, the car from automatic to manual. Um, the parts are actually still available from Honda, but they've, you know, put up the prices tenfold, so to maybe stop people doing that, but uh, that hasn't stopped uh, T3 Tech developing their own parts. Let's have a quick look at some of the other cars. This car is actually getting a headlight alignment, probably going to shuck in. So they gotta get the headlights pointing the right way. This is another interesting one. This has a maroon interior and a very strange kind of Audi R8 type. Pretty cool carbon front lip, some canards, and even the Honda emblem is a carbon look item. I really like the bonnet here with the extractor hole for the hot air coming from the radiator. This red car here, uh, the white body one has a completely different hood design. And this black car here is getting some work done. I'm kind of always keen to see what people do to kind of restore these cars. Uh, a lot of subframe work, a lot of like aluminum bits and pieces from under the car. One thing that a lot of people have been doing lately is uh, radiator changes either going for the stock one one thing here that T3 does is the killer switch for the electric so you can uh, completely kill the electrical system so if you kind of not drive your car often and you store it a lot you can uh, disconnect the battery very easily so it doesn't uh, kill your charge another cool car is the owner's own ride oh this by the way is the wide body Marga Hills 
that we saw from the front before. It's running some work emotions. Bigger rotors. Front and back, floating mounts. Toyo Izumi-san is the owner of the shop and uh, this silver one underneath here is his own car, which is meticulously kept. It's running T37s. It's got a Lotus Brembo caliper at the front. And uh, the one curious thing is he's had the the buckets, the Recaro buckets retrimmed in NA2, the kind of mesh fabric that they did. Um, and he's kept the centers uh, Alcantara. And this is actually a little bit better for, um, I guess, longevity because the fabric is actually a little bit tougher. It doesn't get ruined as easily. Big calipers at the back too with a split caliper, the little caliper for the side door. Okay, so uh, the thing with this demo car here is basically running all the parts that uh, T3 makes. So stuff like clutch kit, the upgraded flywheel. Is it a little bit lighter, the flywheel? Very light. So very light flywheel, a little bit grabbier, clutch disc, and it just feels better basically. And of course, all the parts that they do, if you go on their website, you'll see pretty much everything they do. This yellow car that's getting the headlight adjustment is actually another Type S. So it was basically not quite the Type R, uh, but one grade over the regular version, which is there's another one. And the work that they do gets right down to engine work too. So here's a head that's been pulled off and ready to be cleaned up and restored and refreshed and then put back on the engine, which is going to get a complete uh, rebuild. It's obviously been used for a considerable amount of time and it needs some TLC. My selection of gearboxes here. Here's their lightweight flywheel. You can see it's drilled out. Okay, so uh, let's go around the shop here. This is the NSXR that I've been driving for a month now. We took it here because the owner wanted to get like a quick once over uh, from T3 because eventually, uh, you know, it's going to get restored and like really meticulously redone and put together. And uh, right next to the main shop entrance here, an NA1 in red with LMs. And right behind it, the fixed headlight NA2. So you can see the difference. And of course that came with the more modern wheels and slightly more upgraded brake package. One thing that people uh, or other NSX owners really like to do is to upgrade their NA1s with NA2 uh, calipers and slightly bigger rotors. It's all you need for these cars because they're so lightweight and they're not that powerful. And uh, just wanted to show you Kira's NSX. This is a work in progress. It's just received its Ragamaster wheels, looking really nice. It's actually running um, KW coilovers with some air cups on top, so he has that uh, adjustment there. He's just fitted this exhaust system with a single exit exhaust. Toyo tires. NSX seal this. NSX OEM <laughs> heaven. So this is where gauges get restored by hand so and tested. The... Like I was saying before, it's really curious seeing you know different people's tastes when it comes to you know, tuning, refining these cars. I quite like the wide body look on an NSX. It kind of has that Super GT, JGTC vibe about it. Whether these cars you want to do this kind of, um, you know, extreme conversion to these days is a, a question that I would like to, you know, have you guys answer. Would you do a, a wide body conversion to an NSX? Get rid of the aluminum body for FRP. This runs the advanced wide body Front fenders fit slightly wider tires. These are two three fives, seventeens. 
So it's quite cool seeing, um, you know, the car without an engine and how it's all laid out at the back. So, you know, a lot of um, sections of the subframe are actually aluminum um, or aluminum. And you can see how it's all laid out with the suspension arms, double wishbones front and back. The president was also telling us that, you know, if you really need to exchange the bushing uh, for the lower arms, um, you really have to get the whole assembly because uh, Honda doesn't advise anybody to push out the, the bushing with presses because being aluminum, there's a big chance of like warping. So to avoid that, you just prefer to have people buy the entire assembly. Okay, thank you Toyo Izumi-san for uh, allowing us to film here today. Um, I just wanted to ask you a brief introduction uh, on your company. まあ、ようこそ、えっと、T3Tech へ。ありがとうございます。で、うちは、えっと、ま、8年前にNSXを存続させるのと、それと、ま、チューニングファクトリーとしてですよね。あの、オープンした会社になります。and do you do you notice that uh, your customers are doing more and more restorations now that the cars are getting a little bit older? そうですね。まあ、うん、本当ここ数年、えっと、もう改造してる場合ではない、ま、原点回帰。それと初期性能を、うん、なんて取り戻そう。これが圧倒的に増えてますよね。え、だから過去 何世代もオーナーが変わってでいろいろカスタマイズされた車、これももういっぺん戻そうよとかですよね。え、あとオリジナルってこんなに良かったんだよねって、そこにやっぱ戻っていくオーナーさんが増えています。え、can you show us some of the parts that you uh, are working on to kind of satisfy the demand? はい。まあ、エキゾーストマニホールドは、うん、やっぱりこれ変えると パワーアップが大きいんです。あの、やっぱりエンジンパワーはそれは合ったら楽しいんで。だ、そういうなんて言うんでしょうね。カスタムパーツとしてはどうしても欲しいもの。ペダルは、うん、これは大玉からマニュ
ていうメニュー、これをもう常時行っている、だこれがやっぱり多いんですよ。まあ、今乗ってるオーナーさんは、割とこの辺が分かってくれる方が多い、もう30年経った、廊下こうしてるよっていうと、分かってくれる人が多いですね。Uh, like what's the main thing that breaks or goes wrong in this engine? でも油漏れは多いです、はい、やっぱり、うん、パッキンが弱い、うんはい、だから壊れてなくてももうエンジン周りがオイルオイルベトベト、はい、それはやっぱりバラしてフルパッキン交換しないと治らないんですよね。I guess I haven't really seen too many in Japan. Is, is that something that、uh, you guys also do?、Uh, supercharger conversions or maybe, dare I say it, turbo conversions? In Japan, there is no tuning of the tuning. It is nice. 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 あの昔はあのグループ M のスーパーチャージャーキットあったでしょ、はいーーはい、ありますあ,あります、ね、えー、っと思ったほどパワーが出ないあ、ね、それは、えー、っとスーパーチャージャー自体を駆動するのにあれが馬力を食べちゃうんですよねあそうですね、えーえー、エンジンが400出してもスーパーチャージャーが50ぐらい食べちゃうんで、うん、そうすると出てくるのが350ぐらいしか出ないわけですよね<笑>、うん、でも350馬力だったら 3.2 にすれば出るわけうんね、NA のチューニングでもそのぐらいのパワーが狙えるわけ、ね。About, uh, like, do you do stroker kits to bring maybe 3.5 or some you know,、uh, individual throttle conversions or any big kind of engine work? Do you guys do that here too?3.5 リッターはやります。ね、ただ、えーまあ、トダレーシングのストロークアップ 3.5、うん、これは何台か組みました、ね、でもねやっぱりいいことばかりじゃないですよね、うんうん、やっぱストロークアップは高回転が回らなくなるあそうですね,ねだからあれはレースのホモロゲーションでまあ,あの吸気リストラクターを使う時には有効だと思うんですけど、うん、やっぱりこの車の面白さは8000回転回るところそうですね,ねそうするとストロークは上げない方が、うんうんうん、と 3.2 リッターのハイコンプまで。So very much a purist kind of shop, right? I mean, keeping to the the real kind of character of the NSX. そうですね。あの早いのが欲しかったら何も NSX じゃなくてもいいんです。まずね。ね<笑>あの、ね、これに求めるものは、うん、乗った楽しさ。とやっぱレスポンスね。今の車がなくしたもの、うんうんうんね、それがここにまだある、ね。だから乗った人が降りない。There you have it. If you want something that's faster, get something else because this is the NSX and this is how it is. So don't don't play too much with the base. <笑>